Did you know that the Tonex pedal can be used as a two-channel audio interface? Of course you did, or you wouldn't be here. And while I have you here, why not click the like button below? Let's get to it. First off, connect the pedal to your computer of choice with the included USB cable. If you're on a somewhat recent macOS system, congratulations, you're done already. The Tonex pedal should automatically show up as an audio interface in your DAW of choice. Simply select it in the settings and if you go to a new track, you can select the two channels as inputs. If you're on a Windows system, it gets a little more involved, but not really complicated. The easiest and recommended way is to go to the IK Media website, set up an account and register your pedal. Now go and download the IK product manager. Here you log in as the same user and all your software and hardware should show up in the app. Now click on registered hardware and then on drivers and firmware. Select the ASIO drivers and click download. Now start the install program and follow the on-screen prompts. You might have to restart Windows for the installation to complete. After that, open your DAW of choice, go to settings slash audio devices and select ASIO. That's where it is for me in Reaper. Your mileage may vary. From the ASIO options, select the Tone X pedal and you're pretty much done on the computer side. You can now select the two channels as inputs. Now over to the pedal. This applies to Windows and Mac OS. Press and hold the setup button and scroll over to global settings. Now scroll all the way over to operation, then select interface. Now scroll over to USB out. Here we have two options. The standard is stereo. This configures the two channels as a stereo pair. This is great if you use the onward reverbs. The second is dual. When set like this, channel 1 is the affected signal of the pedal, including amps, IRs and reverbs. Channel 2 will be your guitar's dry signal. You can record this if you want to reamp your guitars later. Keep in mind though that if you use pedals in front of the tone X, they will also be included in the dry channel. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. See you next week.